What's up, horror fam? Steven, a.k.a. Bojangles here, and by the end of this video, you're going to find out whether Willy's Wonderland is worth a watch. And since this is the flagship video in a potentially new series, I want to explain to you how things are going to work. Now, the rating system I'm using is not based on a scale from 1 to 10. Oh, no. Instead, you're going to find out whether a movie is worth a watch, so good it's worth owning, worth a rewatch, worth hypothetically buying more than one copy of, so bad it's good, or not even worth one watch. And as of March 11th, 2021, Willy's Wonderland is currently rated a 5.6 on IMDb. The movie has been hyped as a total cheese fest. So, is that what we get? Well, let's move on to another section I call Expectations versus Reality. So, my expectations for this movie before watching it is that it's a Nicolas Cage movie. So, all Nicolas Cage, all the time. I expect to have fun, and I also knew that it wasn't going to be a stellar film. So, what was the reality? All my expectations held up. It was a Nicolas Cage movie, so all Nicolas Cage all the time. It was fun, but the teenagers totally freaking sucked. I don't know what the hell they were trying to accomplish with those kids, but it was a total failure. They will annoy you. Oh, well, let's roll out. I want to see that bitch burn. Yeah, burn, baby, burn. Speaking of which, their acting is completely horrendous. The terrible color grading on the film is the shit of legend. I thought color grading like this died 10 years ago. Boy, was I in for a surprise. The editing looks like they stole the same editor from Duck Dynasty. Yeah, that television show. You remember that? Well, Willy's Wonderland is going to give you flashbacks. The storyline for the creatures essentially makes them... Chucky. Yeah, the killer doll. Now, let's mention some more positive things. There are some funny Nicolas Cage moments in which he stares intently. The soundtrack was surprisingly good. And of course, I have to mention that the Gorilla Animatronic is the official recipient of a urinal curb stomp. So, what's Willy's Wonderland comparable to? Well, if you've seen the Banana Splits movie, it's pretty close to that. I mean, check these guys out. And Child's Play, because like I told you, the storyline essentially makes these killer animatronics like Chucky. So, where can you watch Willy's Wonderland? Well, as of right now, you can check it out on Vudu or Amazon Prime. I will include a link below to Amazon Prime, and I'll get a little bit of that kickback if you follow my link and rent the movie. But, uh, you better freaking mean it, because it's 20 bucks to rent this son of a bitch. I'm not talking about owning it, I'm talking about rent it. So, what's my final score for Willy's Wonderland? Should he watch it? Should he not? What should he do? What? I'm going to say it is worth one watch. It's lingering close to so bad it's good, but not quite there. So, it's worth a watch just to say you've seen it, you might have some fun, beware of the terrible acting of the teenagers and just their general characters in freaking general, but either way, enjoy yourselves, let me know what you think, and until next time, my friends, look horror, listen horror, talk horror.